Every day I open my eyes, I thank God for you. And if I have ever questioned my faith, my belief for my religion, you are walking, talking, living, loving, proof that there is a God. And God is real, and my God is good. Tabar, I stand here today a new woman. Nine years ago when we reconnected, I never would have imagined we would be here. You have restored my faith and love in more ways than you will ever know. Once upon a time, I was totally content with never falling in love. But somehow you managed to change that. I vow not just to love you, but love you how you need and deserve to be loved. I promise today to not only love, but to be loved the way I'm supposed to be loved. Today, tomorrow, until the end of time, I love you. Lastly, I vow to love you and love you unconditionally through the good, the bad, the ugly, through sickness, through it all. my best friend. Remember Randy when you used to go take Dylan to his grandparents and you would come to my house on Fridays? We would sit in the car and we would sit for hours. We'll get a bottle of water, okay? <laughs> and we would sit in the car and listen to old school 90s R&B. Escape radio on Pandora if you all did not know, okay? We used to talk about a lot of things. We used to talk about life. We used to talk about if we would ever get married, who would be in our weddings, what our color schemes would be, or even where our weddings would be. Now, or look, no, who would be at the end of the aisle? For me, I didn't know who was going to be at the end of the aisle. I still don't know who's going to be at the end of the aisle. But for you, we always knew who was going to be at the end of the aisle. And you knew it was Javon. Amazing, amazing woman, amazing mother, amazing partner, just amazing. I feel like I found the other half of me. If I'm the luckiest man to have you, then I'm the most blessed man because you gave me Monkey and EJ. <laughs> Sorry, gotta rush. I love you. Far being able to be himself around Randy and Randy being able to be herself around Var is a moment that I think that was like, that's it. You know what I mean? I think that's going to be a connection that's going to carry y'all for the next 40, 50 years. Man. I, 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 I really do. You have a friend, Var, you have a friend, Randy. Forget about us, man. We don't matter. You have a friend in Randy. Randy, I'm not going to tell you what to do with the girls because the girls might, you know. But you have a friend in Var, and I think that's a like I, I think that's a lovely moment. I think that's a moment that you all should really share. This is the time now for you all to be together. It was a long time coming, and it was definitely, it's worth it, because this is going to be forever.
of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, and from the power invested in me by the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, I now pronounce you husband and wife. And the Lord, you may now go ahead, my man, and kiss your bride. <laughs> people can possibly have. We want you to have nothing but happiness, joy, and love. As long as we keep God first in our lives in this union, you are no problems. Because God is going to see us through everything, every hurdle, every piece of joy, and every piece of sadness. God will get you through it. Keep God first in your hearts and in your home and we love you both Demar and Randy uh, I'm very very proud of you two and I'm 
very grateful that the two of you have found love one for the other. I wish you all of the happiness that a husband and wife can bring to each other. And just seeing the two of you operate together, seeing the two of you just work things the way that you have between the two of you, I know that your love and your marriage will go far. I wish that you just keep God first, love up on one another, and make sure that you keep your marriage strong. God bless you. I love you all. Godfather, whatever, just as long as I know that you're doing well, I can do well. Amen. Amen.